More than 350,000 people are expected at Artscape this year, and it's going to be a scorcher. Well, we're definitely encouraging everyone to stay hydrated as much as they can, and also take advantage of all the activities and programming that we have indoors. Organizers tell 11 News they've added some new ways to keep cool this year to make sure people can get a break from the heat. We always know it's going to be the hottest weekend, so we always try and make sure as many people as possible know about those indoor activities. Uh, what you guys say is, is what you guys say is unbearable or you're good? good. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's due to the protocol. So and I mean it's always like this around the summertime. Brian Sessions, a counselor at Camp Rock Performing Arts Camp, led his campers through one of many new misting stations. Attendees will also be able to take advantage of indoor concerts, art exhibits, and movies. Also, Baltimore Link cooling buses will be available, as well as the lobby of the Meyerhoff Symphony Hall for cooling stations. Well, we have Oreo shakes, they're definitely popular. We have our ices, mango, cherry. Everything's popular on our menu. Actually. Then there's the ice cream and drinks. First strawberry banana shake of the art skate. We found plenty of eager vendors willing to make sure that everyone stays hydrated. The watermelon juice are right here. Folks like Rick Hilliard serving up fresh shaved ice. We love cold red. <laughs> That's good for business. <laughs> yes, right? exactly. As long as people come out. Now, Baltimore City is also offering up free water at water stations around Artscape, so keep that in mind. There's also a cool thing this year, Artscape After Dark from 9 to 11. They'll have evening activities, so folks that want to cool off at night, there's definitely stuff to do. We're live at Artscape in Mount Royal. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.